Kids, welcome back to the class. I am Bhuvaneshri, and today we will be learning about MS Word or Microsoft Word. Let's start. What is this Microsoft Word? It is the most popular application or a software that enables us to perform various activities very easily. It enables us to perform a greeting card or a document or a brochure or flyer. Many things can be done. What are the steps to launch this application? Let's study one by one. Firstly, click on the start button. Then select all programs. Then go to Microsoft Office option. There you will find set of Microsoft applications. In that click on Microsoft Office Word 2007. This window will be appearing which is the home window of Microsoft Word. Let's learn about some of the options in this application. Those are Office Button, Ribbon, Title Bar, Quick Access Toolbar, Horizontal Vertical Rulers, Vertical Scroll Bar, Horizontal Scroll Bar, Zoom In, Zoom Out and many. Let me tell you one by one what are its uses. Office button is usually located in the top left corner of the screen and all the set of tabs and its group is called as Ribbon. Title bar shows us the title of the document. Quick access toolbar lets us to use, save, do and redo options. There are set of rulers like horizontal and vertical which are used as margins. Vertical scroll bar is used to scroll the page up and downwards while horizontal scroll bar enables us to scroll the page left and right. Zoom in and zoom out lets us to adjust the view of the screen. Status bar gives us the information regarding the document. So these are the options or the things which I discussed now. Just have a look into it. Now let us study about how to type a letter in a word document. Firstly, we are supposed to type recipient's address in the first line. We will press enter so that it comes to the next line. Finish typing the address and press enter after the each line. Now start with date and leave spaces. Start with the paragraph now. Like it, will, it is really simple as writing in the book only. But the only thing is in order to move to the next line we are pressing enter. Now begin writing a paragraph. After each paragraph press enter in order to make a new paragraph. Type the last sentence and press enter few times in order to give the space for signature. Now your letter is ready. This is how a letter will look. Now let's study about correcting errors. When we type an MS word, there is a set of errors that happens. There are mainly three types that is contextual, spelling and a grammar error. So what are these? Let us study one by one. Contextual error is always in blue color. I mean the underline of the text is in blue color. While the spelling error comes with the underline of red color. Grammar error comes with the underline of green color. What are the steps to correct these errors? Just place the cursor near the error and click right click on the mouse. A list of suggestion appears like if this is your error. Place the cursor, click it on the mouse. Here are the suggestions. So click on the perfect or the correct spelling and the error is rectified. Now let us study about saving and printing a letter or a document. How do you save a document? Click on the office tab, go to file menu, a pop-up appears, there select save. Also specify the location where you are supposed to save it. Then give a name to your file and press save. That is how it works and how to print a document. Go to office button, click the print here. Then this option is seen, select on print again and you will get a pop up like this. Select all the specifications required and click on print and your document thus is printed. Let's have a recap. In today's class we learnt about what is MS Word. We also learnt about how to launch MS Word. We learnt about the steps. Uh, to type a letter in MS Word. We learnt about saving a letter and uh, printing a letter. We also learnt about rectifying mistakes. 
also the types of mistakes also all the components in ms word document that's it for today's class students i hope you really enjoyed learning this thank you